Replaced the grill on my Tacoma, but did it cause a TSS sensor problem? Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. We're going to test out the TSS system in my new Tacoma grill. You know, I put a new grill on, actually a original OEM grill, and uh, I had to move the camera back where it was, and I had to move the sensor back where it was, and since I have a lift on the truck, right? So we're gonna see if everything is working properly. First of all, I wanna switch the screen to uh, camera, uh, because I wanna see if indeed the front camera is working. So, if I can remember how to do that, there's a view button over there. I'm going to flip you guys around. You can see the screen. Hopefully, when I hit the button, we'll see my Jeep sitting in front of me. We'll see. Here we go. You guys can see the screen there. Let's hit the button right now. And it looks like we are seeing what's in front of me. Of course, their little split screen thing blocks the, the Jeep, but it's underneath that little triangle thing or whatever so it is working that's cool let's go ahead and check out a couple other views while we're at it uh there is the side angle view that is working that's good to know and i think that's it so there's everything that we have right uh so it is working i can see what's in front of me that is a good good sign all right we're out on the road right now i'm just driving and we're gonna see if i get any kind of failure i'll tell you so far uh, there has been no failure, no crazy lights on the dash, anything like that. So, fingers crossed. I know there's a lot of people out there who ran into some issues uh, when they lifted their truck with the TSS system. So, I'm hoping that I don't have that problem and have to screw around with putting washers behind it and re recalibrating it myself. Uh, so, so far, so good. Uh, again, just out kind of cruising. And I'm actually going to stop here for a second, take some pictures for the previous install video, because yes, it is the same day, uh, because of course I had to come out and test it, make sure it works, right? I mean, how could I not do that? So we're going to take a quick pause and then we're going to get back to it. I'll be right back. <music> video uh, but out here driving around so far so good I want to get into some traffic so that the sensor and stuff can intermingle with the uh, other cars on the road but not too close uh, so far the dash looks good I'm not seeing anything funky uh, which is good and I know one of the primary failures people have had is with the cruise control um, in that causing issues with the uh, little function that slows you down or whatever when you get too close. Uh, I'm not going to test that. I honestly don't use cruise control because frankly I just don't like it. So I guess if there's a failure there I just won't ever know uh, because I'm not going to use it. So, so far I've had cars passing me, cars in front of me, cars around me, cars everywhere and it's been pretty good. So I'm going to continue on uh, for a little bit longer uh, just to get a good feel for it. Got to put some uh, seat time in it before I'm confident that I don't have a problem. traffic in lighter traffic and higher speeds and no indications on the screen you know 
I'm not quite sure why people seem to have problems with this. I don't know if it's, you know, a, a poor install or maybe they put the sensor in upside down or I have heard of people forgetting to plug in the sensor. Uh, well, that's an easy fix. Uh, but other than that, I really don't know why. You know, you're not changing the angle a whole lot. I mean, you know, my front is about three and a half inches higher than what stock was, but the sensor still, I mean, it does have a tolerance, right? It sends out a signal and it has to come back. So, you know, I don't know. I, I'm not really quite sure why people have such an issue, uh, those that do. And I'm not saying it's a lot of people. And I would go as far as to say I wouldn't let that stop you from doing a, a lift, being afraid of something happening with the TSS system. But I don't know, whatever the reason, I know people do have problems with it. I don't doubt that. Um, just nothing in my truck. So that's good. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of go out, do a little cruise around with you guys, uh, let you know how it's doing, whether it was successful or not successful. And so far it is. Of course, in future videos, if I have issues, I'll surely let you guys know. But so far, everything is cool. Couple of things. I have two other channels if you're interested. The first is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And the second is Rob Motive Civic, about my experiences with the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback and the Honda Civic Type R. Check them out if you're interested. Why not subscribe? Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.